So important as well. Speaking about the neon trains, maybe that's the next update. I'm love to see that. It's colder <laughs> trains. It was an inside fake, a, a crappy one at that for Ansi, just running back and forth. And still ladder control. Hunter's gonna go down. Bit bold. The moment and out in the open next is in a duel. Kenny S. He hasn't sprung oh. to action just yet. I I can't believe he hit that. Not sick in the bomb though. There's the spam. He wants to get this one kill. Oh, and he runs out of ammo. And that might have been it. If he had gotten that kill, they would have been able to defuse Shirley with Kenny S in protection. And now he's just lost. Oh man, what a these buffers for next round. But here they're gonna go right in the beat grinder. Nice flash. It's a B stack. Oh, they should be able to hold on to this though. This is actually a real chance for G2. One low HP, oh, and Alu's looking for something with that scout, and if they have the information, these guys have been tagged up, oh. there's a chance. Almanac is going to be able to add one on top. He's leaving X7 high and dry for the moment. And Alu, he might be able to catch Almanac here. He's got everything to fight for. Bomb is not planted for him, and Jax, he's already pushed up forward. If Jax sticks this, he does make the sound cue oh, here. Never oh, going man. To. Yeah, Alu. There's no way Jax can stick this. Alu knows it. Still gonna go to get away from us a little bit. It was a nice close round. It was a stack. Let's just leave it at that. And then just continue on to the next. So it's a nice save here from G2. We do have Jax still saving the AK. But he is outside. We'll buy for next. Except. Dream. Starting to get aggressive. Oh, that's Ooh. a good find. An easy angle for the headshot. That's Almanac looking away for the moment. Can't stop the plant, and now they know his position. Down here's the peak from Old Hell. Jax has not been able to get involved quite yet. Good response. And three on three now. And Jax falls again. This, uh, some of these times they double peak the G2 members. Yeah. So there was never really a fair fight. I mean, sure, Almanac, he had a good opening here, but Entz. This is a really good uh, contact play to that outside yard with the single smoke Sergey initiating everything. I love that round as well that they do. It's very. All three members of G2 are kind of stuck behind the stop sign. Ooh. Huge pickoff from Sunny. Danger. He's taking a big risk. There's the first. I think he might have even spotted a second. Certainly on top of the train. Seven. He wants to get some information. Good timing. Good peak for him. He's been so patient in this ladder room. And now it all comes down to next. I'm surprised he's even going for this. Should be a kit on site then. Gets the first, but as you mentioned, Christine, no nades. I mean, this is ooh, one of the most difficult. What a ball. Yeah, Ballin. I saw that. It looks like a Batmobile. I saw that too, actually. Ballin. I hope that's his and not just like some little troll post. No, I think it's his. I think he swings. It's an eco or a buy from G2, but no rifles. And they've gotten some kills here. It was a three or a four on three, but now... And once they go outside and they get some map control, they just tone it down a little bit. This might be the start of it. There's oh, the first my. kill. This Molly, both players. Oh, the that timing. timing. <laughs> You're upset. Supper, none of them looking here. He's gonna clear straight down, but can't transition over to. Who's backing off? There's a that massive smoke. gap in that smoke. What that heck? is atrocious. Sloppy, sloppy. And I under. Oh, Ooh. Jax. Kenny has an answer, does trade out all loot. This is a play. This is a great play, though. Oh, oh what a trade from Ariel. Important. Kenny S is <laughs> rotated over. A good find. He's fast today. Bombs but X7, outside. yeah, this is a work. And X7 is going to get a freebie right to the side of the head. Now he can plant the bomb. His teammates over in ladder room to help protect. And they've got a crossfire setup. X7 under so much pressure, he actually gets taken out. Now Sunny jigs up. He's been spotted. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Oh, Jesus. 4-3. Right. I was going to have a heart attack there. <laughs> oh, now, man. it's unfortunate that everyone else just gets... He's stacked up upper, just spots uh, Alu and takes him out. That's a 4k for Nexon. They might be wanting to take ladder room and stuff a little bit mid-round, but for early stages, it's been a defensive setup on the bomb train, and it is a fast round for outside for Ans. A lot of pressure on Kenny. He misses his chance. Kenny. Oh, oh my he's Lord. got the backup from Nexa to help him out. And yeah, Nexa. Look at the money, though, on the G2 side. They're not exactly sitting super, super comfortable with the cash flow they're working with. Almanac um, is going to find one. Good hold from Jax. Three more kills for Jax brings him. Angles. And again, we see a fast play here from Ants. 
They really want to go outside really fast. Again, I mentioned it. Maybe it's just for map control and be, be, being able to like hold some corners and sides. But G2, because of economy, is so good and utility is so good on and, and on point. I don't know, it's just like you see where they've died. Right by the choke point of ladder room. Yeah, this is uh, I mean, this is a good final round of just domination for G2. to a five-man team main push outside. A lot of pressure being applied to this bomb train and Ants, they don't have an answer. They're getting taken down like flies right now. Everyone finding the tools that they want. Hunter, he gets taken out. X7 actually gets a 2k, but man, he's got a lot of bodies here to take on. And there we go, Jax cleans up. What are To go outside instead. And the timing is there from G2. What was looking to be maybe a, a competitive round, I don't think it's going to be just that oh. anymore. As I say that though, Ariel with the flank gets the bomb down and picks up a weapon. Trade game situation. But X, oh, Ariel, he just gets destroyed. Jax, he's got the bomb. They're going to plant. Important HE from Nexa. You mentioned it, they didn't have a smoke on G2, and same from Ants. They had bomb, but same thing, no nades, so they took a defensive setup. Was looking to be a, such a close round, still a very close. Even if you manage to save like an AK and stuff, it's great. What a play from Omnic, dude. He just drops the smoke and baits a response, and they come right into his bait. He gets three kills for it. He's happy with that. I mean, at this point here, Jax, he's got all the information he wants. Just a teammate there, but he's still able to adjust and recover and get two kills off the back of that. Jax, he's gained all this space because Hunter was able to get those two kills. He's already sniffed out X7 too. And man, this is such a nice dominant round from G2. It was so... What actually happens here, I speak so highly about the end setup here early on in the round. And the reason why this works out is because Hunter has such a great spawn in ladder room. He actually runs past the molly early on. Mm. And for ends, they... And with the uh, bomb all the way back towards the, the trash bins, it looks like this is going to be a slow pinch on this outer bomb side. Maybe not so slow anymore. 40 seconds now on the clock. So G2, that's going to help. A kill towards the outer train yard. You can start to see the rotation shifting. 30. Oh, oh, that's a shot, but I can't believe no one from G2 is taking up any of this space. It's all towards Ivy. If X7 can hold them off, time is going to start running low, and that becomes an opponent of the G2 attack. MAC-10 waiting for the flank down ladder. Awkward spam through the smoke. And ooh, what a timing for Ariel, and now oh. again, there's the bomb, and they've waited too long. This hit has been way too slow, and G2's in a lot of trouble. I don't, I don't even know if they can do it. Sprinting to the bomb site right now. Five seconds on the clock. Good kill. Now needs to protect him. He needs to find this frag. Ariel just tucks himself into E box. And he's won the round for Ents. With it. So X7 is supposed to be there to keep T main control. He's also supposed to just pay attention to Ivy and be able to help Ariel. But then here, and that's why you kind of see this triple man stack here from Ents in the bomb site. Nice entry though from Alanek. I wonder if they're going to be expecting a third. Probably not. Whoa. But they clear it, they clear it, and it's such a nice execute on the inner bomb site. And Ants not getting a single person despite the stack. That doesn't bode good for the remaining rounds of this half. No, I mean, Omenek, he hit some nice shots, but Ants didn't even know he was there. He just waltzed down lower ramp and made his way pressing W. We saw it with the MAC-10, we see it here with the AK-47. And with even more success, two players not even looking at it. Ah, and he gets in. It's armor and eagles. Oh, okay. Wait. Where'd that come from? Is that a teammate? Yeah. <laughs> Ariel making up for it once again with that ump. They're actually going to be able to collect this AWP, but G2 Sergey, he's got to be ready. Oh, and my he Lord. is. That's a good response. Another one? Oh, he gets taken out by Nexa here. Nexa... To go for this, right? Like, surely... Oh, he's oh him. my lord. He was half blind, I think. Yeah, it looked like Ollie was going to have the time to recover. Another trade. And you can't even fault Ents for rotating in. That is... Something else. You can't get stuck the way you're sitting here right here. Now, granted, you have the four-man stack. Hunter gets the kill on Ariel, too. This is not looking great. They're all spread out as well. Oh. We talk about trading games. It's not going to be there. So now we're all talking about individual superstar performance. Sunny needs to at least clear this area. Spread for this. That's a good start, though. And he knows the ladder player. Oh, he knew, but Sunny. Oh, God, that's awkward. Hunter is going to go down somehow. He's won that fight, and Alu 
Gonna find an easy one onto Omenek. Things have gotten really out of control. Kenny gonna start sliding in. They might assume he's up above. You're never gonna assume he's here. There's the first shot. Oh, oh no, and he thought the defuse would have been stuck. It's a full 10 seconds, but I think Sonny should have it. Utility off of G2, and he's gonna buy some space, but all what? Lou is doing all Lou things. <laughs> Equalize is making this a three versus three, but next to he's already planted. He's gonna get close up towards the trains. Good kill for Kenny. Yes. Oh, he fell asleep Dude, at the wheel. Dude, this ump on aerial. Yeah, it's beastly, but unfortunately it doesn't work at that range. And now X7, a one versus two with the map on the line. What can he bring to the table? Tagged by the AK, peaked by...